Welcome back to Ozark Slide. You know, we've been showing you guys the letters to the zoo for a while now. Ever since Joey Powell asked the kids to write mm -hmm. the letters to the animals, they have not stopped coming. Yeah, kids are loving to have the opportunity to, you know, write to their favorite animals at the zoo. I wish I would have done it when I was younger. Oh, no, What animal great. would you write to? Ooh, Quick question. the giraffes, I think. Okay. What's the view from up there? You know? Ooh, good question. Yeah. Good yeah. question. I, I like love it. the giraffes. Okay, well, that's the one that I would write to for sure. So take a look at what the kids are writing. Dear Monkey, I have some questions for you. What do you eat? Do you enjoy being an animal? What do you play with? What do you do all day? Do you like climbing? From Caden. Caden, I am so happy to finally read your letter to our Colobus Monkey family. And they love to, well, you can take, take a nap and climb. And actually, this little guy had a bowling pin that he was playing with just a minute ago. Thank you for writing, and hopefully someday you can come visit us. Dear Elephants, I chose you because you are the biggest animal on Earth. I think that is cool that you can live in swamps, savanna, plains, and much more. You can weigh up to nine tons and be as tall as a one-story house. That fact surprised me. My life, life has changed because you can't go anywhere and we can't go to school. We also are cramped up in the house, but we do go on a lot of walks. That is one of the good things alongside that my family and I get to spend more time together. I hope that you will get plenty of visitors and not be so lonely after the coronavirus is over. I also hope that everyone and everything will be okay. Sincerely, sincerely, Liam, Eastham Elementary School. Hi llamas, do you have names? My name is Rosie. Do you have a favorite snack? I love to eat cheese puffs. I can't wait to visit you again and feed snacks to you and the other animals. I hope Mr. Goat has learned how to share. Tell the goats, chickens, donkey, and everyone I, I say hi and I miss you all. Lots of mama love from Rosie, age three, Pierce City. Well, Rosie, we actually have two alpacas. This is Paso and Peabody, and they miss you and cannot wait for you to come feed them snacks. We're gonna give them a little bit of a snack right now. Here, guys. Dear animals at Dickerson Zoo in Missouri, I hope this all gets better very soon so more people can come visit you at the zoo and keep you company. The reason I chose giraffes is because they are fascinating creatures. First, giraffes are the tallest mammal on earth and most of the time their legs alone are six feet. Another fact is giraffes spend most of their lives standing up. They give birth standing up and even sleep standing up. That is amazing. Last but not least, giraffes have to drink every few days because they get a lot of water from the plants they eat. These are the reasons why I chose giraffes. They are so cool and amazingly talented. All that is happening is very crazy and it has changed my life in three different ways. Here they are. I used to not want to go to school some days and now I realize how lucky I was to be able to go to school and see my friends and teachers. Another way is now whenever I think about going to a store, I get worried and my parents won't let us go into stores, only my mom and dad can. I used to love shopping and going to stores, but now that the coronavirus is happening, I'm happy I can't go into stores. The last way is, whenever we go somewhere, like on a walk or something, we stay far away from people. It is very different than it used to be. I hope this is over soon and people can keep you animals at the zoo company when it's safe. But for now, we have to stay cautious and far away until we know that we are there are a lot more safe. I hope that when this is over, I will be able to give my Grammy and Grandpa hugs and not stay far away from them. And for everyone, I hope that you are healthy. Also, I hope that we can all see each other again soon without being far away, but still be safe and cautious so that this doesn't start all over again. Love, Jenna, East Ham Elementary. Dear Bobcat, I'm from New Hampshire. I wonder if you live in a forest, if you do what it is like there. Do you like to play with yarn like a regular cat? Do you like playing with the workers? Do you hunt at night? Are you part of a big cat family? I hope that you and your workers are doing okay. Love, Zamini. Well, Zamini, uh, we have two bobcats, and they have a beautiful exhibit, a habitat to live in, and lots of things to play with. So they don't have to hunt too much because the keepers take such great care of them and make sure they have lots to eat. Uh, thanks for writing, and I hope everything is well in New Hampshire. Hi, Colin lives in Chicago, and he's five years old, and he drew a picture of the animal doctor helping the zoo animals. He also says, I love big cats. Well, Colin, I thought we'd do something different. We are standing inside our hospital at Dickerson Park Zoo. All of the animals get yearly checkups and they have routine exams. And then maybe if they have 
oh, like a human might feel, maybe not feel so good, they can have a checkup that way as well. Just the keepers take great care of them, our animal care staff. And so here's the picture that Colin drew uh, of, the, of our vet taking care of the animals. So thank you, Colin. To everyone.